Today is a day we honor the high achievers of O Level 21. However, we are yet to acknowledge that the journey toward their accomplishments was not always smooth. Up next, we have a play by the O Level 21s that will take us down memory lane and show us how they defied all odds to reach their goals. Of course, with the right guidance and support of their Oliver Plus synergy that brought the dawn after dusk. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome the Oliver Plus speech winners of Oliver 2021 to perform on stage. 26 December. 26 December. prepared and then rushing to the school van with a heavy school bag on our shoulders filled with loads of books with a fancy water bottle hanging around our neck and yes let's not forget about that folded handkerchief that our moms pin on our shirt pockets life was relatively normal back then but one fine morning when the clock struck 8 45 all fell flat While everyone is enjoying and partying with the out of the deals discounts, someone was actually planning to drop the bomb on the party. Every batch wanted six months of holidays, twice a year, right? Exactly. So did we. And like we all wished, we prayed that it would get extended by some sort. And out of the blue, the bombers popped in from nowhere and started bombing location after vacation. For once we wish that we had never wished for holidays in the first place. The need for staying at home vanished with the tragedy and trauma that this incident brought along, to the very extent that we had to stay in fear within our, the confines of our very own homes. During these hard times though, there still were so many lovely people who were genuinely worried and helped each other. Some of them even went to the extent of offering us their houses, despite being from a totally different culture, just to make sure that all of us were safe during these times of danger. As we are 14 year old kids, it was extremely difficult for us to accept the fact that our loved ones were no more. My fellow classmates, the ones I loved, played, studied, and fought with are no more. I wouldn't get to see their smiling faces anymore. What was their fault? What was happening to our country? It was terrifying listening to how inhuman people could get. And it insisted a fear in us as to if our childhood was also going to turn out to be like the incidents our parents told us about how war prevailed for nearly 30 years and how they, how they spent every passing day with just fear. How many of y'all had schools during the times of the East attack bombings? How many of y'all actually attended schools even if the schools were started? Most of y'all didn't, right? 
So as we, weren't we then clueless on what was going on to happen to our lives afterwards? The damage which followed within our schools was beyond our imaginations. With the army with loaded guns surrounding our schools and checking our belongings which we brought in, in a transparent bag. With school shutting down for a long period of time and having no proper online systems, little did we know that this is just the big on March 13, 2020, we had to go through a completely unexpected roller coaster ride in our lives when COVID struck. We never realized, we never realized how grave <coughs> the situation was. All we knew was that we had no school and that we could have lots of fun. Does anyone remember the June Pond music? Who would not remember it, right? Yes, that was the trend back then during COVID. You know, when it comes to candy, I live in a small village and we never see the Chunfan guy come that way. But during COVID, since we had restrictions and we were not supposed to go to town to buy goods, that was the first time we saw the Chunfan guy come that way. And that excitement was crazy. Believe me, that was like sighting the moon for the festival. In Kalambo though, it was totally the opposite. The Chon Pound guy rushes as if he has something more needing to attend. That fast. And that's exactly why we call him the Sri Lankan Flash. With all of these happenings, we were having a normal time and enjoying our school holidays. Only until the pandemic worsened and hundreds of people lost their lives. That was just an eye-opener as to how grave the situation was getting. We as 15-year-olds never expected to experience so many traumas, one after the other. And it was just too much for us to take. So many of us had to lose our loved ones. And what was even worse was that we weren't even allowed to attend their funerals. Numerous amount of them that come to report it. And the numbers just kept increasing day after day. And we were stuck at home, losing the most interesting part of our lives, school. With all the masks, hand sanitizers, and social distancing, we were having a very difficult time. We had to miss out on extracurricular activities and sports just to protect ourselves from a disease. Another huge challenge we had to adapt to was the biggest transition that took place, the beginning of the online education. Online education was interesting and also a blessing in disguise. Not knowing how online actually works, we had to go through a lot of difficulties in the beginning. Children who couldn't afford laptops or a smartphone suffered a lot. We still remember how children climbed trees and even rooftops just to get their connection sorted so that they could attend classes and have their studies. Parents sacrificed their meals just to make sure that their children get the necessary facilities. Yes, very true. And then just when we thought that this was the worst it could get to... Switch off the lights. Does it look like money grows on trees? Sahna, my darling. How many cups of tea do you plan on drinking today? Kiri bitte na. You, you, switch off. Stop using that phone and go make yourself useful. And there we go again. Oh God, not this again. Haven't you heard this enough? Dang, Yati. Let's make a change. Over the past few years, we've had to adapt to live in different environmental conditions, constantly changing within a short period of time. Economic crisis was just another one. Oh, so Inflation hit Sri Lanka and here I am, still stuck in the same place, trying to grasp the fact that Milo isn't 60 rupees anymore. 
after several postponements, we were actually so tired of all these constant postponing exams. We actually wanted <coughs> to get done with our exams. But the problems just kept increasing one after the other. At the Atibbe, from 13 to 15 hour long power cuts to studying with just a candle or a lamp on. We never knew what more to expect in future. What did the future hold for us? Also to our dear parents. You can't use this age old dialogue on us anymore. We've faced something quite similar to what y'all have done. Yes, syllabus coverage was itself a bigger task during the online classes. Then came the power cuts, which was a bigger clash to it. As months passed by, we were used to study amidst those power cuts because it became an integral part of our life, just like masks. We worked hard. We even had seminars and classes in the middle of the night, just so that we could avoid power outages. And finally, we were getting back to school. Then came the infamous Aragalaya that got Sri Lanka trending on the news channels around the world. Every single Sri Lankan citizen was out there supporting our nation. But here we were, stuck back at our homes with a company of our books and the darkness. I vaguely remember leaving a seminar halfway through and rushing back home because of a bus being burnt on the way. Oh, Afta. I almost thought I forgot something, but how can I? Yes, now I remember. The social media ban and the censoring of social media due to the Aragalaya. You know, I remember going on random trips to different countries using VPN. That was so much fun. We had to cancel quite a lot of classes because we did not have access. And that was not the only reason. The 100 day long protests were also a cause. I myself distinctly remember missing my math withdrawal exams because of the Black Monday. In no time in my life did I think that not having enough papers to do an exam would be an issue of my primary concern. Neither did I ever imagine that Rizlancers and Rehabsers words of keep space while you'll answer questions. Government's the one who's providing you with papers now. Besides, y'all are not running out of paper. Y'all are not gonna end up saving Sinharaja by doing this. Would come true after all. I know, right? Those times weren't easy for us. The possibility of the government changing overnight gave us this constant fear of uncertainty. As we kept on praying every single night that our exams shouldn't be postponed anymore. Alas, the all over 21 batch literally defines the term cursed. I mean, seriously, Amaru and Katta Kara Padangala, Padangala would take a liar and a petra and I give up with him. Can you guys remember how mice got unmuted and how videos turned on where we could see all what was happening inside their houses? from students gobbling food to how that Eha, Gedara, Magia kept shouting which made it almost impossible for us to focus on our classes. And then the way we woke up every morning, logged into our classes, left it as it is and went back to sleep. Or oh, the way we were panicking when we were asked to unmute and answer a question because we weren't even listening and that is when some of the smartest editors decided to unmute themselves and say, uh, Miss, I actually, my mic is actually not working at the moment. That is why I'm unable to answer the question. I hope you understand. All of these provided us with lots of laughter and entertainment. Though we had countless fun times, so did we have a lot of hardships. But we learned to find the joy in little things. The All World 21 Batch lost all opportunities to hone their talents and to work on their passions and dreams. And that is when the 
legendary trial, Oil World Plus comes into play. We are really, really grateful for Oil Plus for conducting online seminars, online classes regularly when the students were in desperate need of it. Regardless of the, what the country situation was, regardless of all of the strikes, it was happening all across the country. OLL Plus are the pioneers of online education. They fulfill every aspect of our education in terms of having exams weekly, monthly, and also going on to have it on each semester. Giving us coins in classes for answering our questions accurately. And also opening online forums so that we are able to clear our doubts and also having overall seminars to cast syllabus for some of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, when I speak about the dedication of our beloved masters, I actually remember Shazran sir and his dedication towards our students. For example, whenever there is one student in the class who joins the meeting and keeps on leaving the meeting repeatedly, Shazran sir used to call out Faizan Nana and be like, Konyam Parangal. That's the sort of commitment and dedication our Bilal sirs had towards us. They were very much concerned about every single kid in the class. They wanted all of us to succeed and achieve our goals in our ultimate possible way. Students didn't have a stage to portray their hidden talents and passion throughout the past years. We didn't have a plate to carry the opportunities to grab and swallow it. That is when this trial started the trifecta by shining light on no matter what happens in the world around us, education is the only beacon of hope to make this world a better place. Though the future for the batch of 2021 was always uncertain, it taught us to look, to look at life in a different perspective. The circumstances we went through forced us into becoming more resilient in nature. It taught us that our efforts should be more glorified than the results we bring in because of what we went through. And lastly and most importantly, it taught us to hold on to patience and hope and trust the process that everything will fall back into place at the end. It was a difficult task indeed to have hope in a life where everything is dark. To see that small little silver lining in the darkest storm surrounding us. That's where the trial came in again. In the great words of his Lancer, it's not difficult, it's just difficult. Or, in the great words of Rehab, sir, it's not the end of the world, people. Even if it is, it doesn't matter anymore. It's the end of the world. Or, in the great words of Shazran, sir, people do not remember you for what you did or for how you looked, but they will surely remember you for how you made them feel. Exactly. So after listening to all of our videos speaking, I'm pretty sure you must have realized that we were the first batch who came across numerous unexpected challenges. Challenges that weren't easy to overcome. Having millions of reasons to give up, getting a good result was just a dream for most of us. But we still kept pushing ourselves, focused and worked hard as much as possible so that one day we will make our dream into reality. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are today, enjoying, celebrating our victory. Yes, exactly. But it was not an easy thing to do. It required a lot of hard work and effort from our side, but not just from us, from our parents and teachers as well. They supported us throughout our journey and helped us adapt to a new mode of learning and a totally different mode of learning. And the amazing results of all the over 21s is proof enough that no matter what obstacle comes our way, we can face it with dedication, hard work, perseverance and resilience. According to what Martin Luther King says, our very survival is based on our way, of, on our ability to stay awake, to remain vigilant and to face the challenge of change. And that is what all these results are a testimony to. Thank you so Thank much. You.